Bird counting is underway in the East African country of Uganda as the country has been put under a complete internet blackout. According to preliminary results, incumbent President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has got the early lead. The longtime president is in a face-off against a man half his age, pop star turned politician Bobby Wine. Meanwhile, the president has also come out to say that he will accept the results if they're fair, and the results are expected on Saturday. Vote. I congratulate all those who have voted. Let the counting be peaceful. Nobody should try to bring violence. Of, of course, if the results are, 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 are fair, why would they not accept it? Uh -huh. Why? Yes. If, if there were no mistakes made. Most prominent people contesting the elections include the incumbent, Mr. Musveni, and a, who is a former rebel who came to power in January of 1986 and has since ruled the country with an iron grip. At 76, Musveni is one of Africa's longest serving leaders. His main rival is Bobby Wine, a 38 year old musician who was elected to parliament in 2017. And as counting is still underway, the opposition presidential candidate has claimed victory. Listening to what he had to say. I am very confident that we defeated the dictator by far. I call upon all Ugandans to reject the blackmail. We have certainly won this election and we've won it by far. General Museveni and his small clique of oppressors are trying yet again to impose themselves on the people of Uganda. The people of Uganda will and must reject the blunt and usurpation of their will and their voice. After a campaign season marred by deadly violence, bloodshed and harassment of the opposition and journalists, security has been beefed up as counting began in many districts. Lorries carrying soldiers drove through the city and police and local defense units are also patrolling throughout. Now, experts believe that uh, the scare of the election fraud and rigging looms due to the internet shutdown. More than 18 million voters have registered for the election. Voters cast their ballots for the presidential, parliamentary and local representatives. There are 11 presidential candidates vying for the leadership of Uganda over the next five years. And a candidate must win more than 50% of the vote to avoid a runoff. Now for more on this, we spoke to Chris Ochamringa earlier from uh, Kinshasa, listening to what he had to say. The Uganda's uh, chairman, the chairman of Uganda's Electoral Commission has just released, uh, announced the, the third batch of uh, results got from 10,000 polling stations across the country and uh, which indicate that uh, President, the incumbent leader, Ugandan leader, President Yoweri Museveni is in the lead with 1,800,000 1, votes and his closest challenger, Robert Chagulani, who's better known as Bobby Wine, came second with about more than 800,000 votes. The other uh, opposition leaders were trailing behind these two main candidates. Now, people from uh, Bobby Wine's camp have already dismissed these results. They're saying the election is being stolen by President Museveni's government and his handlers, and they, they're saying that they have established a tallying center in the, in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, where they have collected results from each polling station, which shows totally different results. There's also another opposition leader known as Mogisha Muntu, who issued a statement saying that he's in a state of deep grief because of the outcome of the results that have been released so far. Now, these are just preliminary results. The Electoral Commission made it very clear that there are more than 34,000 polling stations in the country. They have only counted uh, uh, the results from 10,000 polling stations, and they expect to announce the final results tomorrow at around 15 GMT, but, and they're urging people to remain calm. President Museveni and his government have said that they are ready to quell any protests by people. There's a very heavy security presence around Kampala, the capital Kampala, and other parts of, the, of, of Uganda. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.